Welcome, familia. This section is all about your brand's DNA. And what is a brand DNA? A brand DNA is all about to develop a strong personality. It's about to develop a personality that people recognize something that you are going to pick and you will stick to it. You will change through the time, the, through the years, your brand is going to change. Sometimes you will be talking about um, love of attraction, sometimes you are going to be talking about sports, sometimes you will be talking about pets, Sometimes you will be talking about your hobbies, your values. We have been going through your values. We have been finding out who you truly are and connecting with your purpose. So it's going to be fine that you talk about all different topics in order to connect with your audience. That's the way we do the branding. If you are a mom, you want to talk about things that moms do or if you love pets you are going to talk about pets or if your brand is about sport or keto you are going to be sharing your outfits about um, sport and different things either it is cooking or learning brain science whatever it is you are going to share your passion with your audience. Are you still with me? Yes, it's all about sharing your passion, sharing who you truly are, sharing your authentic self. And some people fell in the trap of acting acting and pretending to show up very differently when they are in public they change their voices and no <laughs> building a personal brand is about being your most authentic self it's about being who you truly are when you are not being seen and when you are alone in your room doing this kind no <laughs> i am just making some fun um, being your personal brand is about being you because what can be better than just being yourself and when you are yourself you unlock the magic because when you allow yourself to be unique you allow yourself to be powerful. So when you allow yourself to be powerful and to be unique, is where other like-minded souls, like-minded people, like-minded audience will resonate through who you truly are. You will attract the right people to you. Why? because you are in alignment with your values. That's why we went throughout the assessment where you were finding out what is really important to you, what are your values. And some of my values is freedom. Think about what is your number one value. And you want to share this with your audience. You want that your audience know who you are, is your number one value financial freedom? Share this with your audience and you will attract them right away. So we are going to find out your brand's mission. We are going to craft a brand's mission and a brand mission is like a very, very, very short statement and is the reason why. Why does your brand exist? And we have been digging deep into why do you want to start a business? 
and now we are going to see this from a different different angle and you want to define why is the reason for your personal brand to exist in my own experience my why was to help women to elevate their well-being by being happy allowing them to be happy allowing them to feel and develop the meaning allowing them to achieve uh, to be independent financially and allowing them to develop their given talents and genius so think about what is something that really matters to you and that you think this is important i will help people to elevate enhance increase uh, do it better uh, have more fun uh, get something cheaper get more value um, I think about ways and only one thing in how you want to enhance people's lives. What is the one most important thing? And again, I will repeat my number one thing and I define it as empowering women to start their personal brands because I, I, understood that by giving women the opportunity to build a business, helping them to build a business, they will become free in many aspects of their lives. And this will, uh, as a result, enhance and elevate their well-being. So this is uh, something about the brand's mission and this is part of a brand DNA. Then we are going to go through how does your brand smells, how does your brand looks like, is your brand funny, <laughs> is your brand kind or serious, um, really is, uh, it's about all meditation or it's about sports or dancing, madness, silliness, what are the personalities, some attribute, attributes and characteristics. It doesn't have to be everything, but it's one thing that you want to express through your personal brand. It's one, one, um, it's one uh, trait you want to develop. Perhaps you have been pledging the whole time to be like very <clears throat> into, you know, really in the place and always quiet, but you wish yourself very deep inside to be a little bit more extrovert and jump out of your own boss. So that is your genius begging to come outside and keep this in mind. It will take you a lot, a lot, a lot of willpower and repetition. But if you feel this is necessary, you have to. It's a must. You have to commit <laughs> and develop the ability to be an ad out of the box. That's why, that's the reason because you are here taking this branding accelerator program because you want to evolve into your next level personality. You want to change because otherwise you weren't here. So <laughs> be honest with yourself and think very well what are the characteristics and attributes of your personality that you would like to highlight and keep in mind one thing 
at the very beginning when I was pleasing with the idea of starting a personal brand since I know very well the psychology of uh, consumer behaviors, branding and marketing, I knew from the very beginning that one of the things that would catapult me and would help me to make a difference in the marketplace was the fact that I speak broken English. I knew this was no a liability. I knew very well this was an, an asset. And so you can start seeing things from this perspective instead of thinking, oh, but I sound so bad. Think about we are now entering into global, international environments and this is something that appeals to a lot of people because they think, oh, she speaks so bad English even though she is doing it. I would, I could do it and they will resonate with this type of traits when you are courageous and you are authentic people resonates with you and so is how you will allow yourself to connect in an authentic and real way with real people who will become your fans, your drive, the people who likes your vibe, your energy and who you are. And if you are quiet, don't worry. You will find the people who will be like you and who will truly resonate with your message. The most important thing is that you make up your mind, you will be your more authentic self in order to be attracting the right public, the right audience to your brand because you are aligning yourself and you are setting and you are positioning yourself for success. So then we will keep in mind, we want to, once we have defined those traits, characteristics, attributes of your personal brand, is your personal brand sexy? You want to uh, show a little bit more of pepper and salt, or you want to be like kind more of shame, mindful, living, or whatever it is that appeals to your imagination and that you think you want to bring this into the marketplace because there is a need for people to show this and make the difference. And this is the way in how you will be differentiating yourself in the marketplace. You will not be one of those bored people who act and sound like everyone. No, you will be you and therefore you will be an authentic and very attractive character and you will be able to connect very fast with the right people. Stick to it, keep doing it, keep doing it until it becomes automatic. I tell you from my own experience, I am still developing my voice. I've been right now for about two and a half years working in my brand image and it's been becoming better and better and at the very beginning it was very difficult for me to share in the way how I am doing right now but with the tactics and strategies that I will be delivering to you you will be certain that the way you will communicate with your audience is um, the right way, like being authentic. We will be going through delivering data, 
I will be showing you the secrets of the best speakers in the entire world, like Tihar Ekar, like Pin Young, like Blaze Singer, because I've been studying with them. I am certified, I am a certified coach by them, and they teach some tactics and strategies. And that's also the reason because I am so certain about the things I am talking to you and the way in which I am delivering the data I am teaching right now and passing the knowledge on to you. So, relax, have fun. <laughs> How many of you are having fun? Are you having fun in this program? Well, the idea is to have fun. I did those videos for when people cannot show up to the training, but this course has been designed actually to be a hands-on course where you will get the knowledge from me and you won't have to figure out things and then sit there and wondering who I uh, who or how or how or you can ask me live in the trainings and we will be having and shaping your brand identity so that you are very certain about who you want to be and how do you want your brand to show up. <laughs> So let's see what else, uh, the way you present it. Okay, you will be delivering the data. I will be teaching you about this. Why I am doing it. We had been talking about this a lot. And then it is all about the exposure. It's all about doing it, doing it, doing it. So let's continue finding out who is the person you want to become in order to have your new brand image. And in this way, when you add different and you undertake different things, your life is never going to be the same. <laughs> Thank you for joining me and evolve your brand. Evolve your soul.